Lily and Ansel, such a fabulously fun film. What was your reaction when you found out you got to be a part of this film? Well, I was I, very, very excited because I already knew that Ansel and um, John Hamm, Jamie Foxx, like, it was pretty all, all cast. And also it's Edgar Wright and I was a huge fan of his movie. So I was thrilled. I was pretty thrilled too. <laughs> it took me a while to get it. I first read it in 2014. And I don't think I got it until maybe 2015. So it was about a year later. Yeah. And I had met with Edgar a lot and auditioned with him a lot. And uh, I just, I loved this film from the first time I read it. You know, when I first read it, the script had the music in the script too. Oh, so wow. it was like an application on an iPad. And instead of reading a paper script, you read it digitally and you could listen to all the music because the soundtrack was written in initially. Because, it, as you know, the music such an integral part of the storytelling. And actually, Edgar Wright um, said, Edgar said, that or he had this idea 20 years ago, and he came up with the song. He came, he wanted, he heard a song, the Bell Bottoms track, and wanted to um, do a car chase to it. And then he said that really the reason it's taken 20 years is because he's been waiting for Ansel to become a leading man to play that, the part. That's very cool. And yeah. you're amazing. Thank you so as much. As were both of you. Yeah. But how are you feeling? So you know, you finally get the part. And then there's a realization, oh my God, I'm gonna go onto set and be a part of this fabulous movie, but I'm working with Kevin Spacey, John Hamm, Jamie Foxx. How were you feeling the night before your first day? Um, well, I, I felt excited and nervous, but I mean, I think it's really um, comforting to know you're around these incredible, like phenomenal actors, because you know they're gonna support you and make you ultimately better. Um, I slept well, actually. <laughs> Usually, <laughs> Usually I don't sleep well the night before my first day, but yeah, I was so excited and I, I had so much confidence that this movie would be so great. I mean, like, the, usually you don't, apparently if you think it's going well on set, it's not gonna be yeah, good. Yeah, I know, I heard that. But uh, this, I, even though this was difficult because it was long hours and it was an ambitious shoot, uh, it, it was pretty clear that we were doing something great. There's some great costumes and some great props in this. Did you just accidentally forget to return anything on the last day of, of shooting? Well, I got a car. What? And, I, and I got yeah. a necklace. He got a necklace and I got a car. Yeah, I got the Subaru. <laughs> Ansel, how do you walk away with the Subaru? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, you know, you get a necklace. How do you get a Subaru? <laughs> um, I didn't walk away with it. I drove away with it. Yay! Ah, very boom, boom. good. Very good. Was that, that was like a British joke, right? Yeah. It was kind of oh, like I found that funny, yeah. <laughs> yeah I it was like, yeah. Um, and so, like Baby, you're very passionate about music. You've just tweeted, um, expect at least one single every month for the next year. Uh, for, for the next year. This time, I mean it. How are you going to make that happen? Uh, With because, everything that you're doing. Because I already have so much music. I'm making so many songs right now. I'm like just pumping them out, and it feels so good. And I feel like I found my sound. I found my groove. I know who he'd I am. He'd be writing his music all all the time. Every time the camera stopped rolling, he'd be on his laptop and figuring shit out. It's doing cool. that. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to seeing everything that you guys are doing. Thank you so much. Thanks, Thank you. Thank you.